I got my CO2 bubbling away. Very exciting. This is a giant canister. <laughs> it's friggin' huge. I also cleaned out about a ton of plants last night. I took out the worst of the ones that were infected that I was able to trim. There we go. Put this back the way it goes. And here we go. Um, what did I do? I cut down all of the dwarf hair grass. Well, it's not dwarf hair grass. It's full-sized hair grass. But I pulled it out and I gave it a dip and I whacked the hell out of it and cut most of it down. Um, these plants back here in the back. Let's see which ones are they? Ah, there's my finger. Those right there. Those tall guys. I took most of those out and saved the ones that were the least affected by the algae and put those back in. Um, I didn't want to move all the stuff at once because I didn't want to I didn't want to junk up my tank too bad. But uh, yeah, that's gonna have to come out. Um, I took out a couple of the the corkscrew valves. Um, one of them stayed out. I put the rest of them back in. Um, I took out. This is interesting. There's two hunks of java moss right here. There's this one right here. Right there. And then there's all this stuff. All this stuff is the stuff that's been growing. And as you can see, it is absolutely covered in beard algae. This over here is my experimental bunch. I took it out and I did a bleach dip and then soaked it in uh, prime and water for two days and it's clean. It's absolutely clean. There's no black hair algae on that at all. So that's kind of cool. Um, let's see what else did we do. I need to still pull this stuff out but like I said I don't want to junk up my tank all at once so I'm just doing a little bit at a time and taking out a few pieces at a go. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm a little concerned about this stuff down here. I can't really see it. There's a little crypt back there that's just absolutely infested. He'll probably, he'll honestly probably wind up getting pulled out and thrown away. Um, but yeah, the CO2 is in. Terribly exciting. It's bubbling away. I'm still not sure how much I need to put in. Um, currently I have about maybe a bubble per second. The problem is, is that this regulator, it's new and I have read in a couple of different places that it takes a couple of days for it to really break in, but I turn it up to about there. And then 20 or 30 minutes later, it slowed down again. So I don't know what's going on with that. Hopefully it goes ahead and works out its own issues so that it stops doing that because I really want to keep my CO2 consistent. That's why I got the black algae in the first place was because of inconsistent CO2. So I don't know if it's still doing it a couple of days later. I have another regulator. It's one of these big guys. But it does not have a needle valve on it, so yeah, I don't really want to use that one. I would like to continue using the one that I got. It was actually made for aquariums. So yeah, this is uh, day one of Operation Eradicate the Algae. And it looks like most of it I'm going to have to remove by hand, meaning I'm going to have to take the plants out. <laughs> Which really sucks because it took me so long. There, there's a piece of wood under here. This is actually a piece of driftwood and it it took a while to get that java moss to really grab onto there and to get thick and lush. I mean just like on this piece of wood here. This is this is all wood sticking out here and I was so happy that I got the java moss in the right place and it started growing and everything. Um, one more thing I'm a little bit concerned about is the bottoms of the frog bit. I don't know if you can see it or not. The bottoms of the frog bit look like they might be getting a little bit on there. And I really don't want to take out my frog bit. Because 
the frog, but it's so pretty and it's doing a good job of, you know, knocking out any additional light. And yeah, lots of lovely, lovely frog bit and, and duckweed and all of these things that are supposed to be keeping the aquarium nice and happy. All floating there, you know, except for, of course, where the filter outtake is. Now here's a question for people who use CO2 and have planted tanks. Do you use the spray bar? Or do you use the, um, this is my, this is my extra stuff drawer. <laughs> this is like where all of the extra parts and pieces land. And I don't know what I've done. This thing. Ah, this thing. It's just like a, oops, it's just a one directional thing. So, I don't know, do you use the spray bar or do you use the one directional thing? Because I like the amount of surface agitation that the spray, spray bar causes, but at the same time I don't like how it blows all of my plants around. <laughs> I mean, I would like to eventually get the frog bit mostly covering the tank and that doesn't really happen because of this large area of surface agitation here. Um, other problems that I'm kind of sort of having. My power head doesn't seem to be blowing as much as it used to. I guess I need to take it out and clean the impeller. Um, it also seems like my filter has slowed down quite a bit. I mean, it's still doing its job. The water's still clear and everything. Just let me see how it seems like it slowed down a lot. I don't have the intake in a very good place. I have it over here. And until last night, this water sprite had like completely surrounded it. I had to pull out a couple of the water sprite plants because it was grabbing onto the intake and just, no, none shall pass. So there's that. Um, I got my little drop trigger going. Problem is I didn't have any for DKH solution <laughs> and I have no way of getting any because the local fish stores don't sell it. So I tested some tap water <laughs> and the tap water was right about a seven. I don't know. I have no idea. So I'm just kind of keeping that in the green and watching my fish. I mean, there's, there's really not a whole lot else that I can do there. Um, I am going to get some 4DKH solution either by having a friend make it who has access to a extremely tiny and accurate gram measurement scale or I'm just going to give up and buy it. I mean it would be easier just to buy it but I can't really find any place that sells it that would be able to get it here in a reasonable time. I don't know. Yeah, I'll probably just buy it. Anyway, um, going to the fish store today and going to get some Siamese algae eaters to maybe try to help clean up some of this black beard algae. And I'm also going to get a couple of nearite snails because Gary, I don't know where he is, not down here, <laughs> Gary seems to be slowing down on his algae eating duties. Damn, now I don't know where he is. Anyway, Gary seems to be slowing down quite a bit. And... I looked him up online and snails like him don't usually get that big. I mean, he's like, he's like this big, he's bloody huge. And his snail is getting kind of dinged and cracked and I don't know. I'm thinking maybe he might be elderly. I don't know. Do snails slow down when they get elderly? But yeah, he's, he's friggin' huge. I mean, and he, there's a lot of areas that he can't get into because his shell is so big. Like, he tries to get underneath here and get that stuff, and he can't get under there. He gets stuck. Um, there's places underneath of the log here that he he tries to go, and he gets stuck. <laughs> so, I don't know. Poor little guy. I have no idea where he is right now. And for being such a big son of a bitch, he hides really, really well. But, uh, 
yeah, we're going to revisit in a week or two and see how see how fast the black beard algae's going away. I don't know. I might have to like really bump up the CO2 in the tank because it is a big tank and I don't feel like the two one to two bubbles per second is enough. I don't know. Okay, answer me this. I thought these guys were rasporas. See these fish right here with the stripes? Those little guys right there. What the hell are those? I thought they were rasporas, but I looked up a picture of um of the rasboras last night and they don't have the bright blue on the top fins and the bottom fins. These guys if they will actually show you when they pop open their top fins there's this lovely blue there but yeah I thought I thought they were rasboras I could have sworn that's what they were sold to me as but now I I mean when I actually went to look up what kind they were I don't know it didn't look like any rasboras that I could see sorry I was holding the camera with one hand so it was really shaky so yeah, that's, uh, ouch. That is October's tank update. And, uh, I'll do another one in a few weeks to see how well the plants are growing and how much the blackbeard algae has decreased. Hopefully a combination of getting the CO2 in, getting the CO2 bumped up, and getting some zombies algae eaters. Between the two, something's going to happen. So... Good luck. I'll see you guys in about a month.